Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Phil with Full of Life Ministries. Today's message is entitled, Keep Anxiety in Check. Philippians 4 verses 6 through 7 tells us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. To all of our listeners, I have a question that I want to pose to you. And here it is. What are the stressors in your life? What are the areas of stress and worry that have affected your daily routines, your mood? How does anxiousness control your life, your thoughts? This is that time of the year where stress, anxiety, the pressures because of the holidays are agents to send you into a tizzy. And for my younger listeners who don't know what the word tizzy means, (laughs) it simply means, in this case, a high level of stress. You see, we often rely on our abilities and our know-how to solve the many stress-laden challenges we face. Fact of the matter, anxiety and worry appear to be similar but they do function or operate in a different manner. Worry is temporary. Worry causes you to use problem solving skills that you've learned over the years to address your concerns. Anxiety on the other hand is persistent. Even when these types of issues or concerns are unrealistic these emotions or feelings often compromise your ability to function. And these internal and external emotional tensions, if not handled in the proper way, can tempt you into using vices that potentially can cause significant damage not only to you, but to others as well. And many of you have witnessed people in your life that have turned to drugs and alcohol, sex, gambling, prescription drugs, and this list can grow if you're not careful. The reality is anxiety is connected to us because it's the human condition that requires a level of faith in the Lord, even when it appears that your needs may not be met. For you see, you don't want to disappoint the people you love. You've allowed the traditions of the holidays to convince you that if you don't meet the needs of the ones you love the most, this can bring a dark cloud over your life. Today or tonight, I'm here to remind you, don't be anxious about anything. That's what God's word declares. And consistent praying at all times and in all situations and circumstances with thanksgiving is understanding the lessons you will learn from handling stress. You will learn about anxiety and how this opponent of ours is its ultimate goal is to divide and fracture a person into many many parts but by keeping stress in check god's way will enable us to enjoy life in its fullness you see god's peace has nothing to do with the absence of conflict in fact This is a peace that flows even in the midst of conflict. And my prayer for you this day and during these holidays 
is for you to memorize this particular verse that's found in Psalms 55 verse 22. And it simply says, Our Lord, we belong to you. We tell you what worries us and you won't let us fall. Just imagine everybody, just imagine never worrying about anything. It seems like an impossibility. I mean, we all have worries on the job, in our homes, in our relationships, at school. But Philippians 4 verses 6 through 7 is God's solution to turn our worries into prayers. Because I don't know about you, I want to worry less. <laughs> and my question to you is, do you want to worry less? Well, my answer to you is, then pray more. Whenever you start to worry or become anxious about a situation or circumstance, continue to make prayer a priority and allow God's peace to protect your heart and mind. Today, family and friends, I want you to be encouraged and I want you to, I want you to continue to keep shining. And thank you once again for tuning in to Full of Life Ministries. God bless you.